Using a new computer simulation, scientists have found great similarity in the natural growth dynamics of systems large and small, from electrical firing between brain cells and the growth of social networks to the expansion of space and time between the galaxies. I have placed a link below this video to mainstream physics sites that explain this in greater detail. Even though such systems appear very different, they evolve over a period of time in very similar ways. This is a sign that there is something missing in our understanding of how nature works. It is logical that some unknown law governs the way networks grow and change over a period of time. If from the smallest brain cells to the growth of space and time between the galaxies form geometrical structure that are so similar. In this theory, this is explained by one universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that forms the potential for the disorganization of entropy that we have in the second law of thermodynamics with the potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the diversity and complexity of cell life with photon energy forming the movement of positive and negative charge. At low temperature, this process is relative to the atoms of the periodic table, with positive and negative charge being relative to the structure that the atoms form. This can be seen with the build-up and organization of positive and negative charge across the membrane of each living cell that is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light photon energy. At high temperature, we have a phase change of matter in the form of high energy plasma, with charge being able to cover a large area of interstellar space or even a whole star. This can be seen in a solar eclipse when magnetic field lines can be seen in the sun's outer corona. Therefore, it is totally logical that we have one universal process from the cells within us to the stars above us. Even though these processes are unfolding on a totally different scale, the geometry of the process remains the same. This can be seen with cellular structure at the largest scale of the universe, with galaxies forming where these structures come in contact. And at the smallest scale, we have the quantum foam with the similar cellular structure. In between the two, we have the cellular structure of cell life, with consciousness in this theory representing the most advanced part of a universal process. In such a theory, we have the future unfolding with each photon oscillation only occurring once, forming the uncertainty of everyday life relative to the atoms of the periodic table. This process will form what we see and feel as a period of time, with each moment being formed by a photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. This is logical when you think there is no flow or concept of time within the atoms. Only the distribution of positive and negative charge. And this is what you would expect if the future is unfolding relative to the electron probability cloud that surrounds the atoms as a process of energy exchange with photons forming the movement of positive and negative charge. The electron is the most spherical object in the universe, and we have the future unfolding with each photon-electron interaction, with perfect symmetry between matter and antimatter, 
and positive and negative charge. Just imagine what it would mean if the future was not based on just random uncertainty, but is unfolding as a continuous process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking, that at every individual moment of your life you have the potential to form ever greater symmetry formation. This potential is formed by the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons, forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. This can be in the form of art, music or poetry. This can be explained as part of a geometrical process. We have an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere that in this theory represents an infinite number of potential timelines, forming an infinity of possibilities at each moment in time. Because life is an integral part of this geometrical process, the line symmetry can actually be seen as left and right handedness in the physical shape of intelligent life. This symmetry represents the timeline of the evolutionary path of the individual life form. This process will naturally form disorganization or entropy, and when the spherical symmetry is broken, it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. An interior of a sphere will naturally form three-dimensional space, and this spherical symmetry can even be seen in these images from the International Space Station. With a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere that is interacting relative to the two dimensional surface of the sphere. This dynamic process gives us a geometrical reason for positive and negative charge, with the outer convex surface representing positive charge and the inner concave surface representing negative charge. Whenever the atoms bond and break, there is an exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. And whenever objects touch, it is charge that makes contact. Therefore, this process forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we measure as a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table. In this way, cell life creates its own ripples in the fabric of space-time, forming its own evolutionary path relative to its energy and momentum of its own actions. For free will to exist as part of a physical process that can be explained by physics, one of the most fundamental things we need is uncertainty. This uncertainty is formed by light interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds each atom. When light is absorbed, it is spontaneously emitted, forming a wave function with an uncertainty that is mathematically represented by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In this theory, this is the same uncertainty we have with any future event at the smallest scale of the creative process that we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. It has been said Consciousness is universal. This is not as far-fetched as it sounds. If conscious awareness is based on the same creative process that gave us the potential for the interconnected nature of the world wide web with the wonders of modern electronics, then conscious awareness could be explained as the most advanced part of a universal creative process using the logic of physics, just as we use physics to explain electronics. If physics is the most fundamental science, then we should be able to explain everything 
as a physical process using physics. It should even be possible to explain conscious awareness and free will as a physical process. This theory explains free will by explaining the universe as a continuum based on one universal process of energy exchange relative to the atoms of the periodic table. Because the universe is never at absolute zero, there is always the spontaneous absorption and emission of light or photon energy. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic waves continuously, forming what has been called the Great Dance of Creation. By explaining conscious awareness in its most simple form as electrical activity in the brain that is aware of its own electrical potential, this theory can explain consciousness as the most advanced part of one universal process. We have electrical activity relative to the structure of the brain forming chemical changes or chemical reactions. Chemical energy is stored in the bonds that hold the atoms together. As the bonds form and break, we have the continuous exchange of photon energy with the future unfolding relative to the electrical activity and the structure of the brain. This is a totally universal process. The future is always unfolding with electrical activity relative to the structure of the atoms and the wavelength of the light. Electrical activity in the brain is the most fundamental component of consciousness. This is because conscious awareness is formed by this electrical potential that is always in the moment of now, in the center of its own reference frame. We have an infinite number of dynamic interactive reference frames that make up our universe, that are continuously coming in and out of existence with each reference frame having a timeline from the past into the future. It is this personalization of the brain being in the moment of now, in the center of its own frame of reference, that gives us the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own unique personal view of the universe. This process is based totally on cause and effect, Consciousness is always in the forefront of creation, or the creative process. Therefore, each individual is able to look back in time, in all directions, from their frame of reference, at the beauty of the stars. It is a common belief that we travel through time, but in this theory, the atoms of the periodic table form their own space-time as part of a universal process of continuous creation. Life is an integral part of creation, with the flow of time as a process of continuous energy exchange, and our consciousness as a continuous stream of unbroken, ever-changing flow of ideas, feelings, dreams, hopes and emotions, being part of the same universal process. The main effect this process of continuous creation, or energy exchange, has on us is the aging process. With a past we can never change, and a future that only exists as a probability function, or quantum wave particle function. But above all, this is a creative interactive process, with the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. This can be in the form of art, poetry, music, or even mathematics. We are all connected by one universal process, and this process can be based on physics, representing a physical process, with electromagnetism interacting with the atoms of the periodic table. Many people have said on YouTube that everything is consciousness, and in a way, I do not disagree with them, in the sense that consciousness is the most advanced part of a universal process that everything is based upon. 
In this theory, we can have individuality based on the non-duality of one universal process, but we lose an important aspect of reality that can make everything logical if we just say everything is consciousness and then not try and explain how we can have the duality of individuality based on non-duality. In such a theory, the oneness that the mystic feels in meditation is based on the same process that forms the unity of physics and mathematics. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.